Let's go to the next one. These are other potential charges. Now, let me be very clear. He has not been charged with these. So I'm going to put this freaking banner here so you guys know, for the Clippers know. These are speculative. These are speculative. However, I have seen people speculating on them. They are fair to speculate on, and the police could add them. But to this day, they haven't. One of the big things is he played a lot of obscene and pornographic material. He played pornographic material in front of children at Lotte World. It's disgusting. He, he, yeah, he was spamming out feel like stuff on his, you know, text to speech, right? Uh, also, he was spamming it on the Metro, on the Metro. So just accessing pornography alone, because he was playing it, right? And there's proof of that on camera that he played. Porn. Accessing obscene material is one year in prison in Korea. Porn is illegal here. I don't know if you guys knew that. Now, people are rarely convicted on this. People are rarely convicted on this. Once again, and on the bus as well. Thank you. Someone pointed out the bus as well, as well, as well, right? So he was putting out obscene stuff on public transit. That's illegal. He could be put in jail for that. Second, that sort of disturbance is a violation of the railroad safety law. Causing a disturbance on a metro rail on a metro line is a violation of Korea's railroad safety laws. They're very serious about those. Those are two years in jail, two years in prison. Okay. I, it was both. He did it on both. And by the way, someone says, don't call him Somali, call him Ramsey, Khalid Ishmael. I call him both because, and there's a reason for that. It's very important. Number one, that we get the topic out and the topic is in the algorithm as Johnny Somali. So that needs to get out there. But beyond that, we want all of his social media banned and all of his social media, and the, at least the ones that can be banned. I mean, some of them watching them is good because it's all evidence, whatever, but to keep an eye on his social media, at the very least to log it. And it's under that name. So if people are logging it and watching it, that's good. They should know to look for Johnny Somali to Google that. If you Google Ramsey Khalid Ishmael, his channels aren't going to come up, right? So it's important to say both. His real name is Ramsey Khalid Ishmael. Right. Of course, I've said it multiple times. Uh, incitement to violence, that is three years in prison. So remember when he said he wanted to start a race war? So Ramsey also engaged in incitement. He said he wanted, he's been trying to start fights between the Chinese and the Koreans, between the Koreans and the um, Japanese, between the Japanese and the Chinese. He's been trying to start race wars. He actually said he wants to start an Asian race war. He wants to start a race war. And then he also said he wants to genocide the Asians. He said all of these things. Those are incitements to violence. Those are up to three years in prison. Also, if, uh, if they involve racial components, they can fall under anti-terrorism. Also, the North Korean stuff he was playing, the North Korean terrorism, the North Korean propaganda, that can actually fall under certain types of anti-terrorism, which can be up to seven years in prison, right? Up to seven years in prison. So very, very severe punishments. This is just for incitement, but I, I think he could be got for both because what he did was he tried to start problems between countries, like literal racial conflict. He tried to drive racial conflict.